Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 25 to the power x minus 16 to the power x divided by 25 to the power x plus 20 to the power x equals 1 over 5. First of all, note that the prime factorization of these numbers contain 2's and 5's. So we're going to go ahead and use that as an excuse for our substitution. Let's go ahead and set 2 to the power x equals a and 5 to the power x equals b. So from here, 25 to the power x can be written as 5 to the power x squared because 5 squared is 25 and you can easily interchange those exponents. So that becomes b squared. 16 to the power x can be written as 2 to the power x to the fourth power because 2 to the fourth is 16 and this can be written as a to the fourth power and finally 20 to the power x since 20 can be written as 2 squared times 5 we can kind of write it like this and then when we split it up 2 to the power x squared and 5 to the power x 2 to the power x is a so this becomes a squared times b so we're ready to substitute everything into the original equation now. Let's go ahead and do that. Replace 25 to the power x with b squared. So let me rewrite the original problem. So you can see what that looks like. So we can go ahead and replace 25 to the power x with b squared, 16 to the power x with a to the fourth power, and b squared again plus a squared b right so this is what we have and we're gonna set it equal to 1 over 5 great now we can go ahead and do some factoring the top kind of reminds me of difference of two squares x squared minus y squared remember that can be factored into x plus y x minus y so we can write this as b plus a squared times b minus a squared and the bottom the two terms have a common factor b Inside the parentheses, we have b plus a squared. Now, notice that b is 5 to the power x. So, b plus a squared becomes 5 to the x plus 4 to the x, which is not going to be 0 at all. So, in this case, we can go ahead and simplify this, cross these out, and this is equal to 1 over 5. Now, let's go ahead and do some cross-canceling. Uh, actually, not cross-canceling, cross-multiplication. 5 times b minus 5 times a squared equals 1 times b, which is b. And from here we get 4b equals 5a squared. Okay, I sh probably picked a u as a variable instead of the b, so I could say 4u. Anyways, you get the idea. So we get 4b equals 5a squared. Now let's go ahead and back substitute. What is b? It is 5 to the power x, and a is... 2 to the power x, therefore we can just write this as 4 to the power x. Great. How do you solve this problem? Well, it should kind of be obvious that x equals 1 at this point, but let's go ahead and make it more formal and rigorous. I know some people like the rigor. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4 to the x and bring the 4 over here. And now we can write this as 5 over 4 to the power x equals 5 over 4. And this implies that x equals 1. Now let's go ahead and check our work by substituting x value into the original equation and that way we'll see that it works. We don't have to do this but just for fun let's go ahead and check it out. So this is my original expression and I'm claiming that x is equal to 1. If x is 1 this becomes 25 minus 16 divided by 25 plus 20 which can be written as 9 over 45 and 9 goes into 45 5 times therefore this can be written as 1 fifth which means our solution checks. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.